Hey Libra. So right off the bat, I'm feeling like someone is having a moment, a sudden eye-opening realization. Um, I feel like it's your other person. I feel like someone could be struggling right now with something. Like, I feel like someone else is going through some type of disaster. Um, Libra. I think this person is worn down. They're, I swear that it's like they're on their last leg for whatever. See, but they're not going to show that. They're, they're going to hide that they are just exhausted, worn down, wore out. Um, I think this person is spying on you, watching you. I think they're holding back, trying to hold back, or you are, um, Libra. Listen, is listen. It, they're coming in as the devil, the Knight of Wands. It so this could be a past person, it could be a new person, but it, it's it's same shit, different day, same. Energy, different body. I mean, so you have the devil coming towards you. <laughs> so this person could just honestly, they want your attention. Um, so if you've been holding back from someone, I, I mean, it looks like they're pissed. I don't think they're really telling you this, but energetically, I can see that they're they're pissed off about it. Um, I feel like there's an obsession going on with something. Now, some of you could, you or the other person, someone could be struggling with an addiction of some sort. Um, Libra. Whoa. Libra, you have someone... Who absolutely. So for some of you, this could be someone new. But if it's a past person, maybe this person is realizing. Now, this could be them realizing that you actually love yourself more. You have self-respect. Because you're coming out as the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles. So if this is a new person or the past person, I think they see you as everything now. Like, you you are their perfect match. Um, and I think they realize they juggled you. They played with your heart, played with your emotions. Um, this person could be a little bit younger than you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe between 5 to 10 years, something like that. It doesn't have to be that, but they could be, you know, a lot younger than you. You know, for some of you, I'm picking up all of a sudden, this could be talking about like an adult child that you might have. They could be, well, let me just get more before I say that. Um, so, okay, I'm getting two different stories. You walked away from whoever this was. Now, for some of you, I'm picking up, you may have a child, an adult child. They may be leaving the nest, leaving you, um, you know. But if it's love, it does look like this person wants to come back around. Um, Libra, let's see, Libra. So, wow. So, I honestly feel like you've been through a lot with this person. Maybe you have, you've spoke your truth about whoever this is. This person could be still trying to text you, communicate with you. You could be ghosting this person. Now, you know, vice versa, if some are doing whatever. Um, I still, I still think this person's texting you. They could text you daily. 
So you could just be ignoring their texts, you know, just trying to avoid them. Um, I still think you have, you know, some sentimental feelings towards whoever, whatever this is. Um, Libra. So it's like something's at a standstill. It's like someone has reached the end of the road. Okay, Libra. Now, another thing. Someone could be trying to figure out where you live, if you're in a relationship. Or you could be doing this, you know, for some Libras who are still curious about this person. You may actually see something online. Um, hmm. Some of you could be dealing, you have a Leo here. Doesn't always have to be. A lot of times Libras come out as the um, King of Wands because we're a very masculine energy. I know I come out as him a lot. Um, but you know, some, some people don't agree with that, but that's okay. Um, so you could possibly feel like this person obviously has different options. They, you know, they possibly just could have wanted what you had. Um, but now I'm also seeing some of you could be kind of planning some type of trip, a vacation. I feel like some things may come to light, but there, there's definitely a lot of healing going on, a lot of change. Um, okay, Libra. So, I think the problem was, of course, this person is a liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a gaslighter. Um, travel could be an issue. I think this person, honestly, for some of you, I feel like this person just won't, just won't leave you alone. Maybe they're not really harassing you, but it's like they keep trying. They won't give up, you know, but... At the same time, they're not consistent. Um, it could kind of stress you out. It could kind of keep you... Like, I feel like for some of you, if this person would just... Just stop. You know, you'd be fine. You could just go on. But it's like, they won't stop. They won't quit texting or just whatever. And it just keeps you like... It keeps you stuck in a place where, should I text them? You know, you kind of want to text them. You may even feel bad for them because you're ignoring them and, you know, you're so nice and sweet that you just hate doing people like that. Even though they've done you shitty, it's like, man, I just, you know, because maybe, maybe some of you worry about how they're feeling. Okay. Now, this is strange. For some of you, Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, but for some of you, this is, this is weird. I feel like what, what you're beating off actually is some type of energetic entity. You're no longer falling for the temptations. You know what I mean? It's like some type of negative the devil, it's some type of negative energy that's still trying to keep you trapped up in whatever. So it may be different people coming towards you that just coming out of the woodwork, you know, and it's like, why are these people like someone you haven't even talked to in a very long time? It's like, why would they text me randomly out of the blue? Or it's like the devil's trying to tempt you in different ways. It could be through addiction. It could be, I don't know, just trying to tempt you. I see that sometimes when these two cards come out. It's so weird, but it's like you see the truth and what this is. You're realizing at the same time that it's these it's these temptations that you're you're leaving behind. You're no longer like exactly. You're no longer falling into this trap, this devil's, you know, booby trap. Um, it's so weird, but you know, it's just the way it is. Um, okay, Libra. 
Libra. Yeah, it's over. You have the world card. Now, for a lot of you, situation could involve moving. Maybe you're at a distance from someone. I'm telling you, I see some of you planning a vacation, though. Um, could be going on a cruise. You could be, I don't know, somewhere near the water. Maybe somewhere for the winter. Something like that. Um, dang, look at you. You've stepped into your power. I know you're a divine feminine, but you're coming up as a masculine queen of swords, like giving no fucks. The nine of pentacles, whoops, the ace of swords, and the sun. You see through all of this stupid bullshit, everything, everything. I, I just feel like you're moving on with this. You're done with whatever this is. Just being at peace. Um... So, your outcome is the King of Pentacles. And in this deck, I, he seems very, um, he's in control of the situation. It's like, you're running the show. It, no one's going to, um, you're just not going to allow anyone to trap you up to get you in any type of situation. Um, dang. You have the King of Pentacles, the Chariot. It's like you're moving forward. See... Look at all of these people. It's just bullshit. Bullshit. It's it's all kind of people coming at you, drama, just starting shit, just whatever. It's just chaos. Like I'm so done with that. You're you're not even dealing with that anymore. 5 of pentacles. I just feel like you're leaving all of these people you're just dusting all of them. I think you're focusing on being more positive. I think you're focusing on your success. Um Keep going. Be your authentic self. I feel like a lot of Libras, of course, we're all very different. Um, but us Libras are similar in a lot of ways. Um, I think you're very unique. You're your own individual. I don't think you follow the crowd. You don't fall in line with anyone. I don't know. I think you're getting motivated about something. There's something. I think you're really working on something that you're... <sighs> Probably just finances, you know? Um, but I, I feel like whoever whoever this person is, was, whatever, I think they are going through a lot right now. Um, well, the Knight of Cups just popped out, but... Okay, Libra. So, a lot of you might be getting new offers. Um, people just interested in you. You could be interested in them. So you have the two of pentacles though. So just be careful that someone's not coming in juggling you. Someone, I see a flood going on somewhere. Someone could be going through some type, like I said earlier, like a devastation. Someone's experiencing something, um, I don't know, devastating. Whatever that is to you or them. But look at you. I, th I think you're moving forward. Look at you, the moon, the high priestess, and the temperance. You're you're definitely being protected from all of this garbage that is trying to come into your life. Queen of Pentacles, you're looking at what this person did, what these people did. I mean, if not, remember what they did. Don't don't let this person come back into your life just because, you know, oh, because they miss you. No, they don't. Yeah, they might miss the energy you gave them, the attention. This person's probably some type of narcissist. That's probably what they're missing. Your aid, your help. Look at their hands. That's probably exactly what they're missing. I'm telling you, this person's going through something. They're going through something. And, and this is probably what they need. <laughs> but let me tell you what, what's going on. See, they're probably going to come in trying to give you a cup. I, you need to stand up to this person. Be defensive because, look, five of swords, three of swords, five of pentacles, okay? No. I think they're going through something because you have the justice card here. It's karma. Ugh. Listen, I'm a, I'm a wimp. 
when it comes to people, my heart is like, ugh. It's hard for me to allow things to happen to people. You know, I always want to step in and be the savior, but we just have to cut the cord. You can't look back. You know, you just can't look. Um, but I, I think you're just focus on words of abundance. Um, stay in positive, visualize your success, have faith. And I think you're going to get an increase of your money flow. Um, I don't know. Keep up with your divine guidance. Just, just keep going. Keep going. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Libra. See you in the next one.